I'm serious. I'm offended. I will not. I'm sitting out of this round. Screw you guys. Good mythical morning. And happy mythical birthday to my best friend, my bearded business partner, and my creative confidant, Mr. Red McLaughlin. That's me. Is that, that how you say it? It's McLaughlin. McLa McLaughlin? McLaughlin. McLa McLaughlin. 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 Yeah. That, yeah McLaughlin. That. Yeah. Okay. You don't Got have it. Print, print, yeah, okay. And it's, it's actually not today. It's the 11th Pacific right. Sunday. And we don't have a show on Sunday. We're going to celebrate We're today. We're celebrating right man. now. So uh, what is the ideal way of uh, celebrating your birthday? In, in your own mind, I guess. Well, you know, it's a reminder that I'm a little bit older than you. So I was thinking about just pinning you down and then like spitting on you. But not spitting on you, but just like <laughs> letting spit come out of my mouth and then sucking it back in. You know, like older brothers do to younger brothers. Uh, I know that your older brother did that to you. Yeah, like and and you very you always wanted <laughs> you really, yeah. and you always wanted someone to do. It's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, but what about being inundated with beans? Oh, being, that's a close second. Being inundated. Yeah, I'll take that. That's what's going to happen today. And you know what? Your pride is on the line because right. we're going to see if you and me, I guess, can tell the difference between top shelf legumes and bargain basement beans. It's time for knock off knockout <laughs> beans edition. We're going to be presented with several rounds of various sorts of beans, and one of them will be from a big brand name that we all know, and the other three will be non name brand. Look happier. Brand. Hey, it's beans. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, Is that happy enough for you? Right, I'm 43. I'm not that happy. <laughs> we're going to be competing <laughs> and trying to correctly identify which one is a name brand bean, and the winner gets a three bean hand massage. Okay. Whatever that means. Bring on the beans. All right, we're getting started with black beans. We got four different black beans in front of us, three of which are store brand basics, and our job is to identify the Ortega black beans. Ortega. I've got my Rosa Retta. Is that your? Nope, that's not you. That's not me. And then I got Link's best beans. Is that you? Yeah, that's my name. Um, now, okay, I'm not hedging here, but I'm a little hedging a little bit. I'm gonna start looking eating at while, these four while beans. you're hedging. They all look exactly the same, and I, you know me, I do most of my bean eating with just dried beans that I make at my house. So I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this. And I don't wanna lose a, a, a bean contest on my birthday. I'll be sad forever. Um, Not a lot going on here, huh? <laughs> That's last, just raw bean. The last time I ate beans and nothing else was- At my house. At your house when you made me eat no, nothing but, but beans. But I seasoned those. These are not even seasoned. This is just straight out the can. I mean, I feel like this one's better than that one. There's a difference. Is it saltier? I if feel it like is, I'm eating bugs. If it's, it is, what would that mean to it's you? It's a little disquieting. Mm. These are supple. Those are good too. They're getting better. Yeah, they are. It, yeah. I think that's just what beans do. The more you eat, the more they get better. Oh, until the last one. Those are bad. That fell off into a bland Better, place. even better, worst of all. Are, are these the worst of all? These are pretty bad. Equally bad, better, best. Okay. You ready to guess? Yep. Stab the Ortega in three, two, one. It's gotta be these, you know what? I'm, right? I'm I mean, gonna... these are These are the best, but I don't know I if that means I think it's just because they're saltier. Do you think they're actually tastier? Uh, they are saltier. What's the deal? The Ortega black beans are in bowl number three. Yeah! <laughs> the others that. are great value from Walmart. <clears throat> Market Pantry from Target, yeah. and 365 from Whole Foods. Yeah. You know, if you fry beans, then they're good. Yeah. I can see why someone would think, I'll fry them I'm gonna fry them again. I bet you they'll be even better. I mean, is that how it actually works, Josh? Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't think he was listening. Beans aren't you? ever fried. Did you guys even say what you're trying to find? No. Or you just started eating beans immediately? Well, that was Link's job. <laughs> The Would job you, is to uh, identify the Rosarita brand. These are better than just straight up black beans, aren't they? Those first ones were good. Yeah, this is this is nice. Those are good too. Those are more bean forward. Bean forward. The other one, it seems like there's another flavor in there, like something's mixed in. These are dry. There's definitely something mixed into those. I think it might be sawdust. <laughs> What's that aftertaste in those? Boy, that's not good. 
I'm not used to eating even this amount of beans without anything else. Um, I am. That was not bad. That one, that one's just neutral. It really comes down to these first two. Now, okay. Rep, you better be enjoying yourself because I am. Nobody clicked on this video. This is just for you. Yeah, I know. We're eating beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm well, well, you got some hair right there. Oh, yeah? Make a wish. That's not your hair, is it? Your hair's that white? <laughs> and how, how old are you? All your grays just associated right there. Yeah, I, I, I'm growing a little patch right there. It's gonna eventually take over everything. But you know what? I'm biding my time. I, which one do you think is the best? Because I think the first one is uh, pretty tasty. Well, that's what I was gonna pick. I that's think why that, there's a three, two, one. Usually, I think that these two are the best. But I'm gonna go with the first one. I just want you to be happy. Like I said, no. Are you locked in? You. Yeah. The Rosarita refried beans are in bowl number one. <laughs> the <laughs> others are guess it. Gas it? No, guess guess that one you like gas the best, it? and it's Kroger. Yep. Kroger, that's a good bean. First Street from Smart and Final. Yeah. And Target's Market Pantry. Smart and Final. Okay. That they put sawdust in there. They stretch it that out. That is not nice. <laughs> Before we get to this quick announcement, today is the premiere of a brand new podcast we've launched, the Good Mythical Crew Podcast. Our very own producer, Chase, hosts this all new monthly video and audio uh, podcast that's exclusive for second and third degree members of the Mythical Society. That's what the Mythical Society is. It gives you access to all things mythical that otherwise you can't get. And so that's the perfect place we thought to put something uh, where you can hear insider secrets and insights about how the crew works on Good Mythical Morning and uh, invest so much creative energy on that and other shows. And again, it's Good Mythical Crew, the podcast, exclusive to second and third degree of the Mythical Society. Join up at mythicalsociety.com. Okay, is this some kind of joke? This is green beans. I asked, well, I asked for one thing. I said, my birthday, you know I love beans, Let's do a bean taste thing. And you give me these mother flipping green beans? That's not a bean, this is like a green tube of disgrace. Just because the word beans is in it does not mean that it's a bean in the traditional sense. And people like me, we care about this kind of thing. I'm serious, I'm offended. I will not, I'm sitting out of this round. Screw you guys. Um, we have to find the green giant green beans so jolly green giant here i come i've calmed down a little i meditated you meditated i'm 43 i can get through this kind of thing i can handle a lot i've been through a lot of life a lot of life a lot of life more than you. Don't forget it. Okay, so, you're using your fingers, man. I refuse to touch my spoon to these <laughs> tubes of disgrace. <laughs> now, the first one tasted decent. The second one tasted just like an unadulterated bean. It almost had a raw taste to it. Oh God, what happened here? This one's like, this is even a different color. It's not, it's hardly green. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's not good. Yeah. These and these have a very green beany taste. This is this has been sitting around a lot. I think these are the tastiest ones. They got yeah. the most salt for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really do think a lot of this comes down to the salt. Now, I'm gonna defer to you on your birthday. No, oh, Rhett. No, well, okay. please. Oh, so you're not going, you agree this one's the tastiest or you think that one's the tastiest? I think this one's the tastiest, but I think that this is not the brand that we're after. That's ho, just, ho, ho. That's just my guess. The green giant green beans are in bowl number four. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> yes, I still have the gift. The others contain How signature select. How does the gift select. apply to a green bean if you don't even think it? I don't know, man. The universe just speaks to me. From Vaughn's. Walmart's Great Value and Dollar General's own Clover Valley. Yeah, the Dollar General, they, well, it's not even worth a dollar <laughs> in general. <laughs> According to my sources, Hannibal Lecter once said, 
I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Yeah. I wouldn't know. And while we are not cannibals, uh, we will be eating kidneys. N no fava beans involved. Our job is to identify which of these bushes is Bush's best. Which is Bush's no, best? What, I didn't say that. Which of these is Bush's, Bush's best? best? Not which of these bushes is best, because only one is Bush's. That's for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that. Which, which bush is best? I'll be there for that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Kidney bean. This is a tough one to eat. You like this? I like, I like this, and it's a hearty bean to put into a lot of things. Like, I love kidney beans and chili. A bigger, the bigger the bean, the harder it is for me to eat and like. It's kind of a nutty, it's got a nuttiness to it. Whoops, dropped a bean, don't worry about it. Ow. Was that your knee, your elbow, or nothing? I heard a noise, but I didn't see anything hit anything. <laughs> My elbow. I usually don't say ow when I get hurt either. But you know what? I'm getting older. I'm starting to start to feel, using more traditional terms. It took you 43 years to, ow, to feel pain. That hurt. Uh, number two wasn't bad. Did you say that was nutty or woody or this one? The last one is awful. Oh, is it? Let me have some. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is tasteless. These two are the best. Yeah. I'm ready to vote. Was Rhett going first this time? Yeah. Link? All right. I'll take a risk. You're the only one really taking a risk. That's right. Bush is best. Kidney beans are in bowl number two. <laughs> Dang, son. Hey, four for four. I mean, listen. Did I, they give I, you the I answers? Got the, no, they didn't. I mean, Did they give you they, the answers? I know what you're thinking. Oh, it was his birthday. They gave me answers. They didn't give me the freaking answers. The I others are the, Kroger. <laughs> I got the answers right here. Let me finish his thoughts, Steve. <laughs> Target's Market Pantry and Whole Foods 365. Hmm. Well, I, got, I have an opportunity for a queen sweep on my birthday. I'm, I don't want to screw this up. You need it. You need oh, to do it. Don't screw it up. Oh, it all comes down to this. Pinto beans, the bean of beans. When you think of beans, you're probably thinking of a pinto bean. We gotta find the Bush's pinto beans. When you think of beans. Bush's best. I call them pinto beans. Yeah, well that's wrong. No, it's not. Thick skin on that pinto. You call it a pinto? You don't call it a pinto. <laughs> I know you did say pinch for a long time. Not as good as number one. That's sort of a popcorn consistency to it. This one right here. Two guys eating beans. Watch away, watch away. Okay. That's decent. Hmm. It's definitely not this one, right? You know that. Mm. I'm pulling for you, man. I am too. There's I so want much on the line you here. To queen sweep it on your birthday. Oh, man, hold on. With just throngs of people watching. Cheering you on, right? I can, I can, I can feel the energy. He thinks he has it. He has made his vote. It's number three, and I am going to go with number one. It was either one or three, I think. The Bushes' best pinto beans are in bowl number three. Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! <laughs> He did it! Oh man! He hasn't lost oh. it! Oh! Oh my gosh! That was the best birthday I've ever had! Yes! I'm you gonna I, I'm it's all downhill hill from here. No, it's not because you win a three bean hand massage. From who? From who? From him? Me truly? From him. Okay. That makes it seem different. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Kimball. I'm from Orem, Utah, and Link, you're wrong. Rhett's beans are astronomical, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Listen, he had to get under a trampoline to tell, tell you that. <laughs> He's hiding, but it's hiding still true. Jumpers. It's still true. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us do some mystery birthday shot skis and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Link was calling Jade to come into the office, and he was like, "Jade, come here." Christy and I both thought he said Chase in that <laughs> manner, and Christy like grabbed me and she was like, if he ever talks to you that way, <laughs> you come get me.